Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So today we're going to be having a look at the RSP1A made by SDR Play. The guys over at SDRplay.com they have kindly sent me this SDR receiver to try out and uh, and have a look at. So it's made by SDR Play. The model number is RSP1A. It does a whopping one kilohertz to two gigs and it has a 14-bit receiver. Now it covers every handband, everything from the experimental LF all the way through to 23 centimeters, and it has a whopping massive 10 megahertz displayable bandwidth. So you can see here, there's a whole load of different features that this has. Let's take it out of the box and have a look at what it looks like. So here we have the USB connection. This would be a connection which goes off to your computer, and the other side is going to be your antenna connection. Now this is actually a SMA female socket, so you just need to connect your antenna into there. Now we're going to go ahead and use a ballon, so let me show you how I'm going to connect this up to my wire antenna. So the antenna that I use for anything below 30 megs is actually just a random length of wire. Now the length of the wire that I'm using is actually around 15 meters and it's just spread up across the top of the house. Now the wire itself, it's one millimeter thick and it's PVC coated, which is quite good because it's very durable in the weather. So to connect the antenna to the SDR receiver, we're gonna put a ballon in line. Now this is a Newelec one to nine ballon. It has an SMA connection one side and it has has some little prong spring type loaded connections the other which makes it really easy so we're going to connect up this patch cable to go between the SDR receiver and the ballon and it just connects quite simply like this now you have two connections here now I'm going to plug in the antenna into one of them it doesn't actually matter which one and then the other side is actually going to be going to ground so I've got an earth spike which I've got a wire to which will be connected to that let's go ahead and have a look at how we install the software now the software that we're going to be using will be SDR Uno which you can download from the SDR Play website so point your browser to sdrplay.com forward slash start dash here and you'll be presented with these screens that you can see now just fill out where you are in the world where you purchase the product from and obviously your operating system now there are some pre-installation checks that you need to go through um, so the first thing is make sure that the RSP1A or whichever SDR play receiver you have is not plugged in when you get to this particular section it's going to ask you for some personal information your name email address and the serial number from the product this is so that it helps when it comes to support if you need to contact them they have your product registered so just go ahead and fill this information out and once you've filled everything out, just click continue and then you can select the software package you want. We're going to go with SDR Uno. So we click continue and we click here for the installation file. So to so give it a click and then you just need to confirm that you're not a robot and click start download. Now, once it's fully downloaded, click the executable that's downloaded and your software will start to install. Go through all of the options here most of this is pretty much just clicking next you can obviously change where you want to install it so if you want to install the application in a different location maybe like a data drive then you can do for example if you want to save space on your main windows drive and once it's finished it's going to then ask you to plug in your sdr receiver and then it will launch SDR Uno. Now when you first start SDR Uno you may be a bit overwhelmed at all the different boxes and features and buttons and screens and displays that there is available but that's a good thing. The reason being is because there are so many different features in this software which help your listening experience. I will probably do a, another video which will cover each of these little panels and go down into a bit more specifics about what things do. The main button that you need is actually the one over there on the top left, which I just pressed. You need to click the play button. Now the panel which shows the frequency does alter the frequency that you're listening to and it also changes the mode. So let's go ahead and have a little listen around. Let's see if we can find something to demonstrate this software working. Compression. I know I have got compression. I've got to remember what it is now. I've got about 3 dB of compression on, no, no more than that. 
just to lift the audio a little bit. Um, regarding the... Where's your email five delta? Your five at nine. Fifty-nine, so then he's on the head, and they are near off the Neuchatel, USL. USL, Oleg, very fine. Thanks for the contact, and I'll see you again. Nice to meet you, and good day, excellent and one of the great things about this software is because there are so many different features and functions that's available to you, there are really good filters, noise blankers, etc., etc. It gives you the tools so that you can go ahead and try and clean up the signal as best as you can. Now, if you're not particularly happy with using SDR Uno to start off with, then the SDR Play range of SDR receivers is actually supported by SDR Console version 3. I'll leave a link down in the description below and that's a really easy to use SDR package. Anyway, there you go guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and until the next one, we'll see you then.